Hi everyone, let's, let's say you, you come across a company that has great ROI, pays high dividends, has rising stock value, but pollutes the environment. Would you invest in such a company? Now, let's speak to the opposite, a company with slower financial growth that cares about the environment. Would you invest in this one? Currently, Microsoft is rated one of the most eco-friendly and socially responsible companies in the world. They make donations to Indian farmers, aid children in Vietnam, and help save endangered elephant species in Africa, among other initiatives. They also rated carbon neutrality and contributed with billions of dollars to communities and NGOs in 2018. Why should companies allot so much of their profit to CSR instead of returning it to their shareholders? Does Microsoft really know what stakeholders want? Let's take a deeper look into that. Nowadays, the term sustainability, green strategies, and CSR are frequently used, but they always lead to a conflict of interest between what shareholders and stakeholders want. On one hand, we know that the main objective of the business is the generation of profits. On the other hand, businesses have an obligation to make decisions that would ultimately benefit society. It seems that companies somehow have to balance out these two objects at the same time. An editorial in The Economist warns us that this form of collective capitalism will result in more harm than good. Why are so many people opposed to the concept of social responsibility? Well, in fact, there are a few different reasons why. A company that invests in sustainability should be able to, to get something in return. But how would you, we measure this return? It is not really clear what society expects from a business today. This way, companies tend to define for themselves what's good and what's bad, leaving the society without a voice. Another problem related to the trades off some firms might face. For example, climate change being addressed can backfire with job cuts in the oil and gas industry. Now let's think about CSR initiatives from a customer's perspective. Some prefer greener options. For instance, one may choose a hybrid car over a standard model that may be cheaper but more pollutant. However, other consumers are more price sensitive and simply view sustainability attempts as mere propaganda. Indeed, in some market segments, a company that invests in CSR achieves an advantage over its competitors. Now let's take a look at this issue from an economic development perspective. Emerging countries present a wide range of challenges in the CSR agenda where their companies may lack funds to invest in such initiatives. As a role, making a financial contribution is usually seen as the most effective way a company can create social impact. But countless uh, CSR issues in emerging countries present dilemmas and stressful choices. Despite large companies in developing countries adhering to CSR policies, there is still a lot of work to be done in order to effectively combat issues such as child labor and poor working conditions. Issues like this persist because there are several pr factors present in emerging countries that make it difficult for companies to successfully implement CSR policies and reach their sustainability objectives. These factors include economic volatility, lack of investment, among others. Most firms, including large companies such as Microsoft, struggle to find a suitable win-win CSR policy. The high this high-tech giant has become a, a two-time champion among the fairest companies, according to the non-profit Just Capital. And there is a good reason for this recognition. Huge donations add up to $1.4 billion, provide outstanding benefits for its employees, and commit to environmentally friendly decisions. This way, Microsoft indicates which direction socially responsible companies should follow. Interestingly enough, financially, Microsoft CSR efforts are paying off. Taking a stance on sustainability slightly affects its net income. But the firm still has growing revenues, maintain high return on invested capital, and shares are surging with a huge demand. This positive result indicates that consumers are more likely to engage with companies and brands that are responsible. 
but what about consumers' perception of the company's performance in practice? Well, the Microsoft needed it as well. The company was among the top 10 most reputable firms in the Reputation Institute in 2019. Of course, there are other outstanding players who managed to satisfy both stakeholders and shareholders, such as Pay PayPal, Anthem, and Procter & Gamble. Due to corporate responsibility often being equated to philanthropy, not to bring an easily identifiable financial returns, a double win situation with like Microsoft can be considered an exception. Another fact is that very few do, do rigorous research to find out how their key stakeholders view the same initiatives. As we can see, there will always be the clash of ideas regarding CSR and more specifically between stakeholders and shareholders. Large companies like Microsoft have demonstrated that they can handle this issue. But what about the smaller ones? The way to make capitalism work better for all would require certain systematic changes. For example, a healthy competitive economy with antitrust laws would stamp out today's lobbying and oligopolies. At the end of the day, competition encourages firms to anticipate the interests of consumers, workers, and regulators. And what about young managers who, who get job offers from companies? Do they consider how these companies tackle environmental and social issues before heading to an interview? I'd like to hear your opinion in the comments below. Regarding sustainability, what's more important for you in the corporate world? Did you like today's video? This is a, this is a very important matter for you as a manager and for your company. Succeeding by making right choices can be extremely difficult especially when we face ethical dilemmas that are more common than we think. It's crucial to our society and the planet that urgent changes are made in the way business is done today. This video is part of the free mini course about corporate social responsibility with Microsoft case study and is supported by Cool Business School. To enroll, click the link on the, the description. Students receive a certificate of participation and scholarships for courses abroad. Thank you and see you soon here in the America's Business Channel or in any other social media platforms. See you, take care.